Here's how I can make this text made of radioactive liquid green gel here in Adobe Firefly. So for this tutorial, you're going to need some liquid fonts. For example, this one, uh, this is a free font you can download from Adobe fonts. Or here's another one that I just used. By the way, mine is more custom than this. And then not but least, this is the most liquid with the most variations as well. So I got to go with this image as a reference and make sure to export as a JPEG. And now let's go to Adobe Firefly. We're going to go to the aspect ratio, change it to square. Content type, select photo. Let's scroll down. And here I'm going to go and select the hyper realistic. Scroll down all the way. Here we got the lighting. Choose studio light and color and tone. I'm going to go with a warm tone. And now for the prompt, we're going to type in around the gel blob, toxic green color texture, isolated on black, top view. Great. Let's go and click on try prompt. And this is the first result. And this is the direction that we're looking for. It also has some bubbles in it, but we want to emphasize it. So we're going to go to the prompt around the gel blob with bubble particles. Let's generate. Now this is much better. Now I also want some shadows going on. So I'm going to go type in shading, generate and perfect. Look at this. It has some shadows going on. It also has bubbles. Lights are great. And I'm going to go with this one. And here you can go to the edit and use a style reference. So let's go to the style reference. As you can see here, we got the image included and I'm going to decrease the visual intensity and strength to zero right now. And let's go up to the composition reference and click on upload. And I got to go and select the text, click on open, continue, increase the strength to hundred. I also going to change up the aspect ratio to landscape and we're going to customize the prompt. I'm going to go with text made of gel. I'm going to remove the blob and let's click on generate and check this out. It doesn't look that bad, but we still got some work on it. So I'm going to go to the visual intensity, increase it, click on generate. Now we got more details going on. It starts to look better. I mean, not all of them. I also going to increase the strength 50% generate. All right. So the contrast on this is amazing, but in order to make these look even better, I would go with a black background. So here we got the isolated on white. I'm going to change it up to black. Enter. And this is how it looks. I'm going to decrease the strength to zero, generate. And this is it. Look at that. Some of them are looking amazing. I'm also going to go and remove the bubble particles. Remain only with the gel. Generate. This actually looks better. We got less particle going on. This actually came out good. The background, I don't like that. So yeah, pretty much this is it, guys. And that's how you make this typo made out of radioactive gel here in Illustrator.